Hello everyone, welcome to Tradeline. In today's video, I am going to show you guys my new swing trading strategy, which has very high win rate. By using this strategy, which is based on the MACD indicator, you can completely eliminate the false signals in the range market and increase the profitability of your trading. We will use two of the most popular and powerful indicators in this strategy. It's a simple strategy, but in order to use it successfully and profitably, you must consider several important factors, which I will explain in this video, so be sure to watch the full video to make sure you don't miss anything. But first, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so the platform I am using is TradingView. So once you have entered TradingView, your chart will look like this. Since this is a swing trading strategy, we will use the daily time frame for our analysis. Okay, so let's start by adding the MACD indicator on the chart. For adding indicators to our chart, here we click on indicators, type MACD in the search box, and add it to the chart. I'm going to make some changes to its settings. So go to the indicator settings. And in the style tab, I'm gonna uncheck the histogram and the signal line because we only need the MACD line in this strategy. Now let's understand how we will use the MACD indicator. So the way we're going to use it is, when the MACD line crosses the zero line from bottom to top, it is a valid signal to enter a long position. And when the MACD line falls below the zero line, it is a signal to enter a short position. In addition to the MACD indicator, we will also use an exponential moving average as our second confirmation indicator. We have a better chance of profit by using the second confirmation indicator. Alright so let's add our second indicator, the EMA, exponential moving average. This one, add it to the chart. Now click here on the indicator settings. And in the input section, change its length from 9 to 200. This 200 period exponential moving average will help us to identify the short term trend. So when the 200 EMA is above the price, it represents a possible bearish market and a downtrend. And in a downtrend, we will look for selling opportunities. When the MACD falls below the zero line, we will ignore the buy signals at all times in a downtrend. And when the 200 EMA is below the price, it represents a possible bullish market and an uptrend. And in an uptrend, we will only be looking for buying opportunities. And these buying opportunities will occur when the MACD rises above the zero line. We will ignore the sell signals at all times in an uptrend. And when the 200 EMA is going right through the price, it represents a directionless sideways market or a period of consolidation. Now that we've covered the premise of our strategy, let's move on to the entry and exit rules. Look at this chart. Here the price is trading above the 200 EMA, and the 200 EMA is also sloping upwards, indicating an uptrend. So here we will only look for buy signals. And our buy signal is generated here. When the MACD line crosses the zero line from bottom to top, we will enter a long position on the next candle here. And our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing low. And we will keep a profit target at the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. Let's see another example. Here we can see that the price is trading above the 200 EMA, and the 200 EMA is also sloped upward, so we can clearly identify it as an uptrend. Now in an uptrend we want to look for buying opportunities, and our buy signal is generated here. When the MACD line crosses the zero line from bottom to top, we will enter a long position on the next candle here. and our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing low. And we will keep a profit target at the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. Now let's take a look at the rules for entering short positions. Entering a short position is the exact opposite of entering a long position. Here we can see that the price is trading below the 200 EMA 
and the 200 EMA is also sloped downward, so we can clearly identify it as a downtrend. Now in a downtrend we want to look for selling opportunities, and our sell signal is generated here. When the MACD line crosses the zero line from top to bottom, we will enter a short position on the next candle here. and our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing high. And we will keep a profit target at the risk-reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. Here the price is trading below the 200 EMA, and the 200 EMA is also sloped downward, so we can clearly identify it as a downtrend. Now in a downtrend we want to look for selling opportunities. And our sell signal is generated here. When the MACD line crosses the zero line from top to bottom, we will enter a short position on the next candle here. And our stop loss will be set at the market's most recent swing high. And we will keep a profit target at the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 1.5. And as you can see, the price easily hit our target. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. I'll see you in the next video.